one of those days. It is a Monday. I've been trying to think of a good title for this video, and all I can come up with is, you won't believe the surefire way to make $4 an hour. A while back, I built this grill guard, full replacement grill guard for a customer. The reason I built this grill guard for him instead of having him buy one, because every time someone asks me for a grill guard, I say, go buy one. I cannot do it cheaper than what they are mass produced for. This being a Grand Vitara, he could not find one anywhere here in the United States. He did find one in Australia, but of course, not going to pay for shipping to bring that thing over, right? Not worth it. So one of those few instances where me building a grill guard is actually worth it because they're just not available, right? So anyway, I built this grill guard for him several months ago and he decided that he wouldn't be able to tow this thing behind his tractor at work. He's a hired hand on a farm operation and him and his boss are spending way too much time, you know, getting his vehicle to the field or bringing him back from the field or whatever, just you know, it's, it's too difficult. Might as well just pull the uh, car behind the tractor and plow as he goes from field to field. Saves everybody a lot of time and driving around and whatnot, right? So he asked me if I'd go ahead and build a hitch for it. And uh, once again, I said, uh, go buy a hitch. Uh, the one at Harbor Freight is $69. I can't even hardly buy the steel for $69 to make this hitch, let alone put time in it, design it, paint it, all that stuff. I'm like, that's, I can't even compete with $69. So he went and bought the hitch, and then he got to thinking about it that he really didn't want to bolt those uh, mounts that come with the hitch onto that bumper. He wanted me to go ahead and use these recovery anchor points that we put on here. Um, those anchor points do bolt on, but he decided he didn't want to unbolt them and swap over to the hitch or anything like that. He wanted just to pin into those points. And I said, that should be pretty easy to do. So all I do is make some sort of coupling to go from the hitch to those anchor points. Easy peasy, right? Well, I don't know why, but my brain could not wrap around the correct design. And uh, things just went horribly wrong on this, really. Uh, I wasted a whole bunch of time <laughs> making designs that just didn't quite work. But I finally got there. So this video is about me wasting a whole bunch of time just not getting the design right. But you know what? That's how it goes sometimes. That's just life. You can't always come up with the perfect design straight out of the box. Sometimes you just get stuck in a rut, you get stuck in one way of thinking, and you can't see your way out. That's how it goes. So anyway, hope you enjoy this video of me uh, bumbling through the forest trying to find a tree that was right in front of me. Well, oh, and I would like to add that uh, kind of the upside of this is even though I couldn't charge him for the full time that I put into this project, at least I built the grill guard for him so I can kind of look at it as well. I already had to charge him for all these hours. So uh, as a whole package, building the grill guard and building these mounts for him, it doesn't hurt quite as bad. With him being a repeat customer like that, it doesn't hit the pocketbook near as bad. I can kind of even that out over the hours. And I apologize for not producing a video on this grill guard. I did this right when I got my new camera, and I guess I was just having a brain fart or something, and I completely forgot to record it. I have no idea why I didn't record this project. I was going to, had every intention to, and it wasn't until I was talking to somebody else that I realized, oh, I never grabbed the camera and turned this on. No idea why. So apologies for that. I think it would have been a great video. And I'm really happy with how this grill guard turned out. I debated about it for quite a while, actually, but I decided to go and just drill holes in these. One, they're only half inch holes, which Half inch is about as small as I want to go with the plasma table. You know, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at making holes half inch and under down to, I haven't even been successful, a quarter inch a couple times here, but it's really difficult. You gotta get your setting just dialed in perfectly. And since these are gonna be pins that slide through this, I want a good machined 
area. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Nice smooth bore instead of a rough cut plasma cut hole in there. What's going on here? All right, I got to figure out what the heck's going on. I got something wrong here. Well, that didn't take long to figure out. This is the half inch bit, not this one. <laughs> I gotta clean that up before I put it back in there, but yeah, didn't grab the half inch bit. That explains a lot. Pay attention. And the nice thing about using the plasma table to cut out these parts is I know the dimensions. I got it all in the program. So I can just come over to my mill here and drive according to the DROs where I want this hole and drill it in real quick. So it's actually really quick this way. Huh. One of those days. It is a Monday. And then I'm going to weld these together, building both halves, both L sides, whatever you're going to call that. I thought about getting some scrap iron set up where I could, you know, build this around a piece of square tubing or something, but the dimensions are just odd enough that I can't find a good piece of stock and some shims and get it all right. And I figured, you know what? It's just as easy to build this L and attach it to the other L. hits in there before I thought it would actually. Uh oh. Mm. Well I hope that works. <laughs> if I had to I could just take it to the bandsaw and just go ahead and cut a little bit of that off. But I think we were at the right width of his vehicle, according to my notes. So we should actually be inside of that just a little bit. So I think it's perfect. Won't know until we get the car here. Guess what I'm saying? I just made a huge mistake. I welded inside here on these things. Uh, I was going to weld on this side of them, weld in there wherever I could reach but not on this side. Why is that? Because it was already hitting. So with those welds inside there, now when it comes over, it doesn't come over. It doesn't angle near far enough now. Uh, drats. I don't know what to do at this point. So I gotta figure out how to correct that somehow. What's gonna be easier, like, is it literally faster to cut out another set and remake these? Or can I figure out how to get in there and take care of those welds? I don't know, gotta make a decision. So I was sitting here filing on this one going, this is just a waste of time to try to file these stupid welds out of there and get this fixed. It's literally gonna take me minutes to radius the front of this top piece here and move that hole forward about a whole width, honestly. Um, so there's no need to try to salvage these. I don't like the design of it. I don't like the looks of it. You know what I'm saying? I did. It's it's not what I want. Throw it away. I'm wasting my time trying to salvage these. There you are, YouTube. There's the new ones. They're still smoking hot. I'm gonna let these things cool down. And then I still gotta make a pin that goes through there with a bushing on it, which you'll see, but be back in a minute or two. Well, YouTube, uh, yeah. I don't even know what to say right now. Um, Uh, so the customer stopped in last night. I was way home from work and we decided we really want to use one inch pins through here. 
instead of trying to utilize the pins that came with the set, these little half inch pins. Um, and not have a bushing in there to bush it up to one inch. Like with the winch anchors are, the recovery anchors are on the car. Uh, the reason I did this like I did was because I was planning on putting a bushing in here and sliding a little pin through there and that would work for that design. But now that we're going up to an inch pin, he wants to use that in there. Um, I'm not really sure that I am comfortable with my design now, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the original was this U piece here, and what I actually originally thought, with my very first idea, was to literally just take some metal like this. So, you know, reuse these pieces, put two of these on, slide the pin through into the anchor of the car, and bam, be done with it. And yeah, I'm kind of back at that point now because I keep looking at this going, I'm not sure this is making sense anymore. <laughs> and it's one of those things that, you know, I don't really want to explain this to y'all because y'all aren't here to see what the heck is going on and be privy to the conversations that I'm having with the customer. Well, there's my new design. Um, <laughs> hope this works. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut out the holes too in it this time. I'll give it a shot. Why not? Downside to this design is it's a lot harder to put together. I finally ended up just bolting it onto the end of the hitch here, and the spacing between the end over here is 5/8. I don't know what you call that end. The end that's going to go on the car is 5/8, and I could not find any 5/8. Well, anything, square stock, round bar. I have. Um, I try to stack up several one-inch washers, and that doesn't work out to 5/8. Like, nothing works out to 5 eighths at all, which really amazed me. Um, so, I just put a 5 eighths bolt in there, and I think that'll be good enough. So, I got my uh, flexible ground wire for the MIG welder wrapped on there, because I couldn't figure out how else to get a ground clamp clipped on. I really love having that wire. That thing is it's amazing how often I use it. And, yeah, no, it's just a matter of making sure everything stayed there and spot welding it together. And then once I had it all tacked together, I could lay it up on the table and finish welding it. I believe this design looks much, much better, much cleaner. I really like it. Uh, the welds also come out better this way because I'm not doing an outside corner weld, I'm doing an inside corner weld. So, I mean, makes the welds look much better. This thing looks sleeker, 
I just like everything about it. It's really nice. Really, really happy with it. Lots of hours, very little pay, but I'm tickled with the end result. Uh, I'm actually not going to paint this because the customer wants it right now. He doesn't want to wait on paint, so he might paint it someday in the future, or he might bring it back to me and have me paint it real quick, but a little bit of a downside, but hey, sometimes, you know, that's what the customer wants, right? All right, so. See if this actually goes together like it should. All right, can you see over here? Yeah. Come on. Hey. All right, so I'll tighten this up later. Pins fit in there super nice, and the hairpins fit in there nice. So, kind of wish I had some new pins. I know I've got some somewhere on here and I cannot find them. Uh, hopefully I'll get a little footage tonight of showing this on the car. I don't know, because it'll probably be dark when he comes through. He's been getting off work about nine o'clock at night lately, so we'll see. But I'll try to get a little footage, at least a couple pictures real quick. So, I like that. I'm tickled pink. <laughs>